My name is Brendan Lukomsky, and today I will be summarizing my research into nickel contamination present in vaporizer cartridges used for cannabis concentrates. Now, just a little bit of background, a vaporizer pen typically heats and aerosolizes a liquid concentrate that's present in a replaceable cartridge that can be loaded and unloaded within the pen. Now, unfortunately, the product itself is put into contact with metallic components within the cartridge, which has the potential to deposit uh, contamination of certain metals within the product itself, a process known as metal leaching. Now, as of this past summer, the state of Michigan has mandated testing for nickel inside of these products. So the goal of this research was really to see whether or not these cartridges pose a contamination risk due to this metal leaching. Now, thankfully, I was able to get a lot of backing on this project, and I was able to obtain 90 cartridges from four different manufacturers for use in a 10-day study. Now, 30 cartridges from each manufacturer were placed into three different temperature environments, a 4 degree, 25 degree, and a 37 degree. And then on each of the 10 days, three cartridges were removed, their contents digested, uh, and then analyzed for the nickel content through ICPMS. Uh, and the results are actually quite striking and go go to show that there is some manner of metal leaching brought about by these cartridges. Uh, you can see in this top plot uh, individual cartridge concentrations over time. Uh, and you can see, especially for manufacturers B and D, several cartridges above that black 500 parts per billion action limit. Uh, you can see in this plot the distribution of those concentrations on each of the days. Uh, and you can see, especially for manufacturers A, C, and D, that there is little, if any, correlation with time. Manufacturer B is really the only one you can make a case for, and even that's extremely weak. Uh, these bar plots down here show the percentages of different concentrations for manufacturers and temperatures. The blue bar represents concentrations between 250 and 500 parts per billion, and the gray bar represents concentrations above that 500 parts per billion action limit. Uh, and so especially with this first bar plot, you can see that manufacturers B and D fared the worst. Uh, so there's definitely a tremendous amount of manufacturer variation. And as far as temperature is concerned, you can see that higher temperatures, specifically that 37 degrees Celsius temperature, fared worse than lower temperatures, showing that temperature does play a certain role in the concentration of nickel in these cartridges. So overall, this goes to show that nickel contamination due to metal leaching is definitely a concern in these cartridges. Uh, and can pose a public health concern due to the levels we are seeing here. Uh, however, it is not really dependent on environmental factors, more down to individual cartridge variation. This definitely goes to show that this is more of a manufacturer issue and how these cartridges are manufactured, uh, and shows that there has to be a broad sweeping change in both the regulations surrounding these cartridges and also the manufacturer processes that produce them. Uh, if this change takes place, then not only can manufacturers save themselves hundreds of thousands of dollars due to failed compliance testing, but also a major public health concern can also be satisfied. Thank you.